G'day and welcome back to my channel. Can you see me through all these bloody ropes and things? Well look, after the last video, Workbench and New Kits, there was such an interest in the sailing ships and you were basically asking me lots of questions and there was so much going on. I decided we'd make a new segment every week if you like and we'll call that Building Only My Boats. Or we could be Building on the Model um, Barino, no, Marina balcony. I don't know. The duck came up with a name for this. Marina balcony. That's it. Building on the marina balcony. Or building only my boat. I don't know. Either way, it's a bomb, right? Okay. Now, what comes out of this bomb? Well, oh God, please. Every week, <laughs> I've been having so much trouble with Siri this morning doing this video. This is like take 200. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what comes out of my bomb? Well, it'll be funny and really terrific stuff. All right. I didn't think that through, do I? That spells farts. Oh, well, that's completely low on the tone of these videos. Oh, dear. Okay, roll the music. So, what do you expect to see in these videos? Well, obviously, it's going to be boats, isn't it? And this one here is the Royal Caroline, right? Now, it's not one that I've built. Not at all. Actually, a fellow came over to see me and is having trouble wrecking it. And he'd built a few other... Um, model ships, wooden model ships, but they're a lot smaller. And then he sort of grabbed this one, and it's a lot bigger, and it's got a lot more ropes and a lot more you know, rat lines and And unfortunately, he's sort of gone about. He'd done a very good job of building the wooden part of it, yeah, pretty well. But he got some of his mounting points wrong, and he just got some basics with his rigging wrong, and he ended up with a big bloody tangle. Because if you've watched my bounty videos, I explain the order, the order, the order. <laughs> It's been a shit of a morning attack. They upgraded Apple on the iPad, changed Siri, and every time I tried to record a video, Siri was trying to talk to me, and I was trying to tell her to F off, and of course then she was telling me that wasn't very nice. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, um, right, so poor fella had so much trouble with this, because as you can see, there's a lot of running rigging here, but he hasn't put the rat lines in. And as I explained in my, my video when I was doing the bounty, that, you know, rat lines is something you have to do pretty well early on, because you can't get to it if you've got all this other bloody rigging in the way. So we'll discuss things like that, you know, more about rigging. If you're interested, let me know. You know let me know what you want to know about boats. And, you know, I'll tell you what I know, or I'll find out for you, because there's plenty of people out there who are much smarter than me, and I can find out from them. Coming up very soon, as I have talked about in the Workbench and New Kids video, is the Perseverance. I am going to do a box open and discuss that because I'm building that for um, for Dave. Yeah, he wants that built, and he'd uh, he'd given it to me on the proviso that I build it ASAP, and he could enjoy the kit vicariously. His work. Look it up. Bounty. Okay, bounty. I am getting there with the second layer of planks because if you watched the previous videos I'd shown you how smooth it was looking. Well that was only the first layer of planks. I am double planking it and the kit actually has proviso for double planking but it's not in the instructions. So I'll explain all that and if you like I'll do a series of videos on how I've managed to do the planks and get them all curved up and looking smooth and, and I've learned a few techniques and tricks. I've got a um, well I've used a few things. I have bent planks by wetting them. I've bent planks by using the crimping tool and then these planks were done with it's a electronic plank bender which is basically just a bloody big soldering iron and you kind of iron the planks on uh, it works really well and I'll explain all about it in the video and I'll show you how to break it up into all the segments and work out the lengths of each of the planks and get your tapering and and then get your beveling done and everything it's not that hard really if if you've got a plan I'll show you an easy way to break it all down off you go and it'll look really nice because see how smooth that is yeah that's a hell of a lot better than uh, oh, what we had over here, which was, um, yeah, almost like a bloody clinker ship, you know. Yeah, but that's okay. They didn't know. They didn't know at all. And the instructions, I must admit, in this constructor kit are bloody vague. You know, and I've had people even contact me, asking me questions, and I've had a look up going, oh yeah, that should be that. Because unless you've got a few ships under your belt, and it's been a while since I've built wood ships, I'm sort of remembering it all, you'll get lost and confused. This arrived in the mail yesterday, all the way from Cornwall. It only took four days, which is amazing. <laughs> you can't get anything shipped around Australia in under like two weeks at the moment because of the damn apocalypse. But somehow Cornwall can get something sent by UPS all the way across the bloody oceans and arrive here, you know, how many hours is that? 96 hours later, is that it? Yes, I think it is. 
<laughs> Anyhow, this kit is mighty. Now, John, I'm watching his videos. I'll probably put a link to his review on it. He's done a review on this kit, which you can have a quick look at. But I might, not this week, but maybe when I get a bit of a break, I might open the box and show you in detail. Because John kind of glossed through it, which was more for showing people that actually build model boats, uh, wood boats, quickly what was in the kit. But I'm really amazed at the way this is packaged. If you've ever opened up an iPhone, you'll know how sort of beautiful the experience is, how everything's nicely clicked together. Well, it's like that. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. And you pull it, you know, you open it up and things just kind of come out of compartments and it's just, it's a bit of engineering in the box, which is a joy, right? For anybody that's ever opened up his Vesta kit and known the feeling of, oh, disappointment, <laughs> this is the opposite. You are in a good mood just by opening the box and the kit looks superb and the instructions are incredible. They are the best that I have seen yet for a wood kit. In my day when I built these things about half a century ago, right, you used to get a set of plants, a whole lot of balsa and basically a bit of paper that said go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and you used to have to like put the plans over the top of your bolster and stick pins through to get the shapes and then you'd draw them out and you'd cut them out. Then you'd put your bloody plans down on your workbench and glue them on your workbench or set them in place or sticky tape them down. And then you'd put your parts over the top of that and you'd be cutting and gluing and building on your workbench on the scale plans. It's the only way you could figure out how to do the thing. And that's what you did. And you built it all up on the plans because the plans were all the scale of the model that you're building. And that's what you did. And that's how it was. And you used your own interpretation as to how things should be shaped and how things sort of you know worked and therefore no two people built exactly the same model from the kit but if I had an analogy um, I was going to say dragon but probably not somebody that fits you like Meng somebody that gives you a kit everything is clean everything is precise the instructions are good and everything fits together Now, I have not seen every single wood ship kit because people are always saying, yeah, you should try this one, you should get that. I've only seen, right, some billing boats, which were rather good. The um, constructor one, which it's not bad. You get a lot, but I say the instructions really let it down. And then the um, this one, whatever it is, Momo kit or something, the, the, this one here that my, my mate uh, John or whatever his name was, that he brought over, okay? Um, I haven't really had to have a good look at the instructions there because I don't have to build it, right? But um, obviously... If he was following the rigging instructions, what he said, that's wrong, because it basically got him tangled up in a mess. Anyway, look, all I'm trying to say is this um, Okra kit is really good quality, and I will go through in detail the instructions, the parts, everything. It looks like it just basically sort of clicks together. Even the planking, they've got a different method of planking to what I've done on the Bounty, which is more sort of traditional. They've got a very simple method of, pa of planking, put your teeth in, Harry, <laughs> and... Actually, it's quite clever. I might build the kit using their method, even though it's it's not as sophisticated as the one that I do. But I might just follow the kit's instructions. But I won't be building that for a while. First, I've got to get the bounty video out and show you the planking. Okay, a lot of people have been asking. And I'm sure you're interested, and I'll try and do that so you basically see how I've accomplished repairing the mistakes in the kit, um, fixing the problems, and then replanking it. Then I'm going to basically review and start building that perseverance because I've promised that today. Okay, so that'll get done. Okay, uh, John Chip will just sort of go on the back bench there. I'll, I'll fiddle with it. There's, there's heaps of things I need to do. I need to rebuild a lot of the bow here because there's some metal parts that he obviously couldn't bend. I can't bend. I'm going to ditch them and build the entire head rails and everything out of wood. And that'll be fun. That'll be a video on how to custom make some parts and replace some metal parts that maybe you don't cope with well either and go just make them out of balsa. Okay, so we've got all that coming up, um, plus a lot more. Let's wrap this up for now. I just wanted to see it literally tip my toe in the water, so to speak, and see if this kind of segment would be any good for you, and if you liked it. And I don't know if I'll do it out here on the balcony again, because it's too bloody nosy. I'll keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Do you think this bomb idea is good? Would you like to see more things about just ships and wooden boats? That way the, the tank guys and the aeroplane guys, well, they can just piss off and don't watch these videos. Bugger them. <laughs> Anyhow, let me know what you think about my bomb, okay? And especially all the farts that are coming out of it. <laughs> and um, I will see you next time. So like, subscribe, and comment, but just be nice about it, okay? All right, then. It's goodbye from Australia, and it's Huru from Harry Hidini. <laughs>